Hello students, today we are going to discuss about hydrogen bonding. The hydrogen bonding is very important and it is connected to need directly a question from chemical bonding you can expect it and also from the p-block element and organic chemistry so many questions are related to hydrogen bonding so that you can expect at least one question from NEET examination from this topic. Before going for this topic we will discuss about the score examination. The score examination is India's largest scholarship test examination. Why it is largest scholarship test examination? The scholarship of one worth one crore rupees. And so that it is India's largest. No one is giving like that. So in the description box, it link is available. Everybody click it and you experience this score scholarship examination. It is for right from grade 3 to grade 12. Anybody can write this examination and this examination is completely online. You can write for free of cost. You need not have to pay anything and also you will be having a study setup and laptop and educational elements and up to 100% scholarship and you may be related to infinity lane or you may not be related to infinity lane. You can enjoy the score examination and in the description box the link is available and you click it and you write the examination and one more Diwali gift for you and NEET 2025 All India Test Series Pack which includes 27 AITS examinations, 20 full syllabus mock test and 25 topic wise previous year questions and 3 PCB books along with video solutions on Infinity Learn app and performance reports and benchmarking of your performance along with the Sri Chaitanya students and your it was actually a 6000 5999 a special discount on occasion of Diwali from Infinity Learn you just enroll now and you can just YouTube 50 off and that is a coupon code. If you write that coupon code, you are going to get discount flat 50% 2999 ka And Violet will talk about hydrogen bonding. Very important topic. I said everybody take a pen and book and start doing and hydrogen bond. A weak electrostatic attraction force between a partially positive charged hydrogen and partially negative charged electronegative atom like oxygen, hydrogen and fluorine. That is called as hydrogen bonding. Let us talk about hydrogen fluoride. Hydrogen fluoride, there is a partial negative charge and a partial positive charge. You take the neighboring molecule, it is a partial negative charge and a partial positive charge. There is a weak attraction force between this dipole and this dipole is called as a hydrogen bonding. And this hydrogen bonding has so many effects and also we will discuss those topics like conditions for hydrogen bonding. Does every atom and every bonding or every compound have the hydrogen bonding? In the NEET examination, just a simple trick, two things I just want to give you. The condition for hydrogen bonding is the first one, the molecule must contain highly electronegative link to hydrogen atom. So, the atom that is supposed to be highly electronegative. As electronegative increases and hydrogen bond strength increases because the polarity increases. And also you can see the size of the electronegative atom should be small enough. Should be small enough like oxygen, fluorine and nitrogen can participate. As size decreases, electrostatic force of attractions increases. These are the two major conditions that you can expect hydrogen bonding and also strength of hydrogen bonding the strength of hydrogen bonding is very weak that is about 2 to 10 kilocalorie per mole or you can say 8.4 to 42 kilocalorie per mole as electronegativity increases hydrogen bond strength increases that is simple trick hydrogen bond strength is directly proportional to the electronegativity of the atom Say the example here, uh, hydrogen to fluorine hydrogen bond is uh, 41.8 and oxygen to hydrogen is going to be 29.3. You see, electronegativity decreases, hydrogen bond strength decreases. 
and also you can see hydrogen to nitrogen bond dissociation energy is 12.6 so the bond energy decreases as electronegativity value decreases and it's very important the strength of hf bond is greater than ho bond is greater than hn bond and also types of hydrogen bonding you have two major types of hydrogen bonding one is intermolecular hydrogen bonding intermolecular hydrogen bonding means the hydrogen bond present between two neighboring molecules is intermolecular hydrogen bonding whereas other one is intramolecular hydrogen bonding when the hydrogen bond present within the molecule is intramolecular hydrogen bonding let's talk about intermolecular hydrogen bonding you can say hydrogen fluoride there is a hydrogen bonding hydrogen bonding is shown by dotted line so a hydrogen fluoride molecule hydrogen fluoride molecule and there is a hydrogen bonding you can also say in the water molecule oxygen hydrogen and hydrogen there is a hydrogen bonding among the water molecules and also in the ammonia molecules ammonia hydrogen 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 the hydrogen bonding like that you can see the hydrogen bonding in many ways let us talk about the intramolecular hydrogen bonding hydrogen bonding is present within the molecule generally that kind of hydrogen bonding can be seen in the organic molecules let us say ortho nitrophenol o nitrophenol so ortho nitrophenol oxygen to hydrogen and a nitro group and there is a ring formation due to intramolecular hydrogen bonding so ortho ortho nitrophenol structure is given like this because of this intramolecular hydrogen bonding this molecule is bit tiny and steam volatile mind it and also you can see ortho hydroxy benzaldehyde the ortho hydroxy benzaldehyde this is your benzaldehyde ortho hydroxy and there is an intramolecular hydrogen bonding the ortho hydroxy benzaldehyde so like that you can have the intermolecular hydrogen bonding and intramolecular hydrogen bonding let us see how this hydrogen bonding gives an impact in physical and chemical properties and there you can get some questions before going for that i just want to give you a super point people don't know and chlorine has the same electronegativity 3.0 as that of nitrogen 3.0 but nitrogen can participate in intermolecular hydrogen bonding any type kind of hydrogen bonding whereas chlorine do not form hydrogen bonding could you say the answer yes chlorine is big enough nitrogen is small enough you see the conditions for hydrogen bonding it should be electronegative as well as it should be small as possible so because of the large size of a chlorine as compared to the nitrogen chlorine do not participate in hydrogen bonding that is the actual way and uh, we can say uh, applications of hydrogen bonding molecular association due to intermolecular hydrogen bonding this carboxylic acids forms a dimeric structures like acetic acid any carboxylic acid formic acid acetic acid benzoic acid can participate in intermolecular hydrogen bonding this is one molecule and it is going to be its neighboring molecule because of the intermolecular hydrogen bonding it exists as a dimer so this impact the one to half factor i value is less than 1 so this hydrogen bonding even it is connected to physical chemistry solutions and colligative properties grade 12 ncert 
and dissociation in aqueous solution hydrogen fluoride ionizes gives rise h plus and f minus so f minus actually doesn't exist like this this f minus exists along with hydrogen bonding so that you can experience the formation of hf2 minus hf2 minus that's the reason why there is an existence of khf2 so just take this point and take an idea about how we are connected to the neat preparation here let us say statement 1 statement 2 questions khf2 exist but not nhf2 exist the only reason is khf2 you can say hydrogen to fluorine hydrogen bonding is there whereas in the case of nhf2 the such hydrogen bonding is not available and also high melting and boiling points the compounds having high boiling point shows abnormality in high melting point and boiling points that's the reason why hf has higher boiling point as compared to hcl because hf has intermolecular hydrogen bonding even alcohols you can take alcohols and water water has a more boiling point than alcohols but alcohols also hydrogen bonding the extent of hydrogen bonding is more in water as compared to alcohols and also solubility in water compound which can form hydrogen bonding are readily soluble in the water like alcohols lower alcohols are readily soluble in water due to the cross hydrogen bonding and also high viscosity and surface tension because of the high viscosity and surface tension because of hydrogen bonding the viscosity is increased just like glycerol you take three hydrogen bondings are there so that it is viscous liquid as compared to methyl alcohol and ethyl alcohol so as the extent of hydrogen bonding increases the viscosity increases and low density of ice than water how it is possible yes because of the hydrogen bonding this water molecule has open cage structure as a result of it its net volume in the solid state is increased as volume is increased density is decreased therefore water float on the water so ice float on the water this is very important and you can see various questions from this hydrogen bonding based on the ncert so which of the following does not have the intermolecular hydrogen bonding yes water has intermolecular hydrogen bonding ortho nitrophenol has intramolecular hydrogen bonding whereas hf has intermolecular hydrogen bonding and nh3 has intermolecular hydrogen bonding so i just want to say which of the following does not have intermolecular hydrogen bonding as ortho nitrophenol has intramolecular hydrogen bonding my answer for this question is going to be b and also one more important question this question has been repeatedly asked in various competitive examination happened in india so the order of strength of hydrogen bond this kind of questions can be easily handled based on the strength of hydrogen bond e is directly proportional to the electronegativity difference between two atoms so that fluorine is greater than oxygen is greater than nitrogen is greater than chlorine so the bond hydrogen bond between hydrogen to chlorine is less hydrogen to nitrogen is less and oxygen to hydrogen and fluorine to hydrogen is the greatest so my answer is going to be b for this question so think in analytical way and use these tricks in the neat channel infinity lane and you can crack any type of questions and maximum number of hydrogen bond that can be formed by water molecule is look at this water molecule is tetrahedrally arranged it's a bent shape and it is going to have four intermolecular hydrogen bonding that is shown tetrahedrally so my answer for this question is going to be c and also the boiling point as the temp atmospheric pressure hf h2s and nh3 can be arranged in the way so the boiling point is directly proportional to strength of hydrogen bonding 
So the strength of hydrogen bonding, you can see the answer is going to be a HF is greater than NH3 is greater than H2S. Of course, H2S do not have hydrogen bonding. And F orthonitrophenol can be easily steam distilled, whereas the paranitrophenol, why not? So look at this orthonitrophenol. This is the phenol nitro group and there is a hydrogen bonding, intramolecular hydrogen bonding. This is orthonitrophenol. Let us talk about the paranitrophenol. This is your paranitrophenol. And neighboring molecule I just want to take as invert side. So, so there is an intermolecular hydrogen bonding. Because of the intermolecular hydrogen bonding, molecule is becoming heavy. So that a paranitrophenol is not steam volatile, whereas orthonitrophenol is going to be steam volatile. So that a strong intramolecular hydrogen bonding is present in orthonitrophenol that is intramolecular. So you have to check the answer accurately and get four marks out of this kind of questions. And also which statement is correct? So this is the method of questions like this question, <coughs> this question you are going to get in the neat examination in this way. Melting point of H2O, NH3SF for maximum in the respective group due to intermolecular hydrogen bonding. Yes, it is correct. And boiling point of CH4, SH4, GH4, SNH4 is very less because none of them can form hydrogen bonding. And formic acid forms dimer by hydrogen bonding. Any carboxylic acids can form, can form dimer. So all statements are correct. So the option for this question is D. And today we discussed about what is hydrogen bonding, types of hydrogen bonding, conditions of hydrogen bonding and applications of hydrogen bonding. And you use these methods that I have given you simple tricks and from the NCRT based neat examination question you can confidently crack it please like this session and share with your friends and subscribe to infinity learn neat youtube channel thank you very much thank you